I want to show you a very quick way to hack on a on a function. In this example, we're using Node.js with OpenFAS. Normally what will happen is we would run FAS CLI up and we would wait for a little bit while our container build ran and then we would end up getting an image pushed to the Docker Hub. It will get deployed to our local cluster and then it will go and pull that image and run it and by the time we're done we're actually probably waiting like up to potentially up to a minute now we can optimize that by having a local registry um, there's a few other little hacks that we can do but if you're making lots and lots of changes you might find this a bit cumbersome now one of the things that um, you don't see often with kubernetes type projects is docker compose but we can actually use docker compose and this is based upon something that simon ems from the community put together to run um to run our code locally effectively because we're using an open files template we've got something that a docker build can run in and then we can mount the code from our function directly into the container and use a process like nodemon this will monitor the code and every time it sees a change will reload the content of the application given the new compose file format we can also have secrets and i created a secret earlier it has this value of so i'll show you here it just says salut it says hello as i was um, demoing this to somebody from canada and the function is pretty simple that's all it does reads out the file so what we can do is docker compose up on it it would do an initial docker build and install the uh, the nodemon process and we'll actually access that on port 8000 now this isn't exactly the same as us doing it um, with OpenFAS, right? You've not got any async compute, you've not got any metrics, there's no UI, there's no gateway, but it is your function. And we can sort of refresh that as much as we want. We can go into that the handler and we could potentially wrap that in JSON just to show that we've actually changed the code. Uh, message, secret message. Can hit save you see in the background it reloaded and then we've got our text out just as quick as that we also see there's a backslash n on there so this is obviously not being trimmed so let's see if we can do a quick trim now compared to us sitting and waiting for that to continually reload i think you agree that's pretty rapid no container builds uh, very very quick and if you do actually need to access a database, you could port forward that out of your Kubernetes cluster where you're running OpenFAS back to the computer and access it from Compose. There's all sorts of things that you can do here. I've actually put this one on the internet with a TLS certificate from Caddy. So I'm running Caddy on my laptop. Uh, I've set up a DNS record, demo.myfaz.club. And I'm now going to run in Let's Pro telling it to forward all of the connectivity on port 18443 to that caddy process and here we are so now serving this with a certificate issued from this is the let's encrypt staging endpoint that's my local version that's a version on the internet um, we can make a change we'll see how fast the code is reloaded and then simply both editions are up to date, the public one and the local one. Now you could add more services on more ports and have them exposed through Caddy, or you could even just leave the Caddy component out of it if that isn't something that you need. In this instance, I've just created a very simple file just as so. So there you are, a super rapid way to create functions in Node.js with OpenFAS and test them out locally.